Welcome to the Happy Workaholic Podcast. I'm your host, Kellyanne Gorman. Over the past 20 years, I've worked in beauty, luxury, corporate, and service-driven industries. I created the opportunity in these careers and in my own businesses that allowed me to travel the world, experience once-in-a-lifetime events, and build brands while providing my expertise to clients all around the globe. Life is short, and when you're given a second chance, you better believe I'm going to take it, celebrate it, and share it with you. This show is intended to elevate your mind, upgrade your business, enhance your life, and become part of a positive and uplifting community. If you are ready to take your business and life to that next level you deserve to be at, this is the show for you. Inspiration, motivation, and determination are what got me to where I am today. Tune in every week to hear from myself, other entrepreneurs, professional patients, small business owners, and fellow podcasters who will be featured on the show. I'm here to remind you to work hard, share your story, follow your dreams, and never, ever give up. Thanks for taking the time to subscribe to the Happy Workaholic Podcast. Today's episode starts now. Okay, I want to talk to you guys about an incredible brand that we all need in our lives right now. It's called Coco Taps. Now, this name may sound familiar as they were most recently seen on ABC's Shark Tank as well as CNBC's The Profit. Eco inventor and CEO Coco Vinny not only runs the company, but he also speaks as a zero waste educator. Coco Taps is not just all about the coconuts. You see, it's about a lifestyle and one we are all in so much need of right now. Coco Taps is the world's first patented zero waste coconut water removal system with ocean safe biodegradable taps making drinking coconut water fun, convenient, and better for the planet. Now, you guys know I love a good backstory, so let me tell you how this company started. Years ago, Coco Vinny broke his dad's expensive knife while trying to open a coconut. After much research, he realized there was nothing on the market offering a no mess, no stress way to turn a coconut into an all-natural drinkable and resealable container. Bottled and canned drinks will never justify the all-natural taste of coconut water. And this, my friends, is how Coco Taps was born. No bottles, no cans, and no pollution, just fresh tapped coconut. It's all about keeping in alignment and partnering with Mother Nature with great taste and zero waste. People love Coco Taps coconuts because they taste amazing. They also cut the carbon footprint and traditional pasteurized and packaged coconut water by eliminating wasteful processing of cartons, cans, and plastic bottles that end up in our ocean and landfills. Now, I want to share something super special with you guys right now. If you are in the Las Vegas area, Coco Taps is tapping all their coconuts every single Thursday and delivering them straight to your door the following day. Okay. Now, don't go and get disappointed. If you are not in the Las Vegas area, it's okay because all you need to do is visit CocoTaps.com and order your own coconut toolkit for your house so that your coconuts can stay fresh in your fridge for up to three to four weeks. How amazing is that? Seriously, at a time like this, it's never been so important to keep hydrated and intake all the vitamins and minerals we can to keep our immune systems strong. To grab your toolkit today, visit CocoTaps.com and be sure to follow them on Instagram, Facebook, and LinkedIn for up-to-date Coco News. All the links will be in the show notes and let's get back to today's episode. Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new episode of the Happy Workaholic Podcast. Today I'm here with my friend Vinny and he is a zero waste educator and eco inventor and he is also the CEO of Coco Taps. How are you? Hey, I'm good. I'm over here in Las Vegas. Coco quarantined here. You guys, I'm so excited to have Vinny on the show. He has so much going on specifically right now. And he's also a client of mine and I'm a huge supporter of everything he has going on. And I just want you to share your story of how, first of all, what Coco Taps is and how you got this business, how you created it. Okay. Well, you know, they say that the necessity is the mother of invention. And I was at my wit's end at my last company. I was a CEO of an internet gaming company that I started. And we raised a lot of money, raised millions of dollars, um, venture funding. And I got to a point after about four and a half, five years of just hitting the wall. I was just not in a good place. I was miserable, um, surrounded by um, a bunch of people, investors, customers, shareholders, everybody around me, including even my, the relationship I was in was not a fit anymore. I had just created this environment that I thought I should have. And so I, I shed all of those shoulds one morning and I said, this isn't going to work. So I broke up with my girlfriend. I hired a new CEO. Uh, I sold everything and I literally left 
Las Vegas and I kind of went walkabout. I just, I moved uh, with a couple of outfits, my bike and my keyboard and I went to Long Beach and I, I built a little shack in the back of my mom's property in Long Beach and said, I got to figure this out. So I connected with family again, mom, grandma, everybody got kind of grounded there. And then um, I started, I started taking care of myself, got back to health. I did, I did an Ironman. And then I realized that uh, I didn't really necessarily care about the financial money part of things. That wasn't my key motivator. Although that's all I was chasing for the last, you know, career moves was all you know finance driven and so i realized that i my next project was going to be good for people good for the planet and fun um and that's how it all started i set those three intentions those are my non-negotiables uh healthy people healthy planet and fun and went walking around looking turning over rocks and trying to find my next career um nothing fit you know, I did everything. I, I looked at, you know, all kinds of companies to buy. I looked at even real estate and stocks and I went everywhere. I, I turned over literally every rock. It almost took me two years. And by chance on this adventure of turning over rocks, I met uh, a gentleman who's an Indonesian fella and he offered me a, a fresh Thai coconut. And I had done an Ironman in Hawaii and everybody's drinking this packaged coconut water. It tasted awful. I couldn't stomach it. Didn't like it. And when my friend Lou offered me this coconut, I was like, yeah, I don't like coconut water, Lou. You know, um, thanks, but no thanks. And he goes, just try it. And so as soon as I drank the fresh coconut water from the coconut, it was my calling. And so I was like, this is awesome. Every day after my workouts, I had a knife and a hammer and I was cranking away on these coconuts, just whacking them open, making a mess. And I beat the shit out of this knife. I, I had about two weeks of cracking coconuts. I, I broke this knife and, uh, you know, I'm living in the back of my mom's property, right? So the knife I was using so happened to belong to my stepdad. So I get a call one day, it's my mom and she goes, Bill's really pissed. And I was like, why? And... <laughs> Well, that knife you were using, uh, he bought 20 years ago in Germany for like 400 bucks and oh my God. shit out of it. And so that was where it started. I was like, oh my God, I bought him a new knife set. And I was like, I can't be the only schmo messing with knives, almost cutting their finger off, trying to get into coconuts. So that's where it started. And today, actually, we got our patent issued. I got my booklet in the mail from the USPTO, the United States Patent Trademark Office. And uh, man, it's such a neat experience to hold that patent after over five years, you know, from the idea, you know, I think it was the end of 2014, or no, the beginning of 2014, end of 13 is when I got the idea to do this. And now we got the patent. So to go from, an idea to a real product you know it took me two years to manufacture it and package it and create it and then take it to market and all that that's been the last five years and now to be here you know proving it out and making it real it's just so neat i'm so excited for you and i can't believe that happened and now we're recording like today <laughs> that's so awesome yeah yeah and, and so it's been an adventure and we we didn't we you don't like uh, any of the listeners out there are thinking about doing something, I would just say, you don't need a plan. You don't, mm. need, you don't need to know everything. You don't need to know how. You don't even really, you almost don't need to know what. You just got to know your, you know, your real why and, and what, you, what, you, what moves you, what drives you, and what you think you can do. And then go and don't stop going. Don't stop moving until it's there because everybody has ideas, but nobody is willing to stick to it, to make it a, um, to make that idea real. Mm -hmm. So I'm glad you said that. And I feel like a lot of people just give up when they're halfway there. Like they don't realize how much time and hustle and dedication and 
passion like really goes into entrepreneurship. I mean, when I launched my podcast almost three years ago, having a full blown podcast production business was not a thought. And after I launched my show and everybody wanted one, I just had to create it. And then I went along like just teaching myself. And now here I am with almost 20 shows under my belt. <laughs> it's nuts. Yeah, congratulations. <laughs> You've been doing Thank great. You. I, I, uh, it's a lot of work. It, and that's yeah. the thing. You know, it's like, you gotta, be, I, you gotta be willing to drive, you know, blind faith almost. You gotta have, absolutely. you gotta be, you gotta be absolutely coconuts actually to do it. You gotta be crazy because it is not easy. Nothing that is, is easy. true. <laughs> even now, now, I mean, now it's, you know, I want to talk about the whole philosophy and not so much philosophy, but morale of your company. You're not just selling fresh coconut water. You're not just selling, you're not just selling a product. You're selling mm -hmm. a whole vibe. People are into, I mean, you can tell a lot by a person when they show up on video and even like a podcast, just sharing their story, just sharing like how passionate they are about their dream, their employees, their company, the whole brand. Mm -hmm. You show up on Instagram all the time with your ukulele, living your best life and just like showing <laughs> the world, like here I am, like here's my story, here's my brand and like welcome to our world. Like that's hard mm -hmm. to find. So yeah. did that just come yeah. naturally to you? I kind of know the answer to this, but how did you start well, like incorporating all of that? Well, you know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a diehard optimist naturally. Like I would be in meetings at every company and you'd always have the one guy or the 10 guys that are always trying to play devil's advocate, you know? Mm -hmm. And, you know, I just, I always wanted to bring the, the sunshine to the table to the, mm -hmm. to, you know, so it's all about, that vibe, that that problem solving, looking for solutions all the time, not looking for problems, um, and the vibe for Coco Taps is really simple. It's like the Coco Chill, the Coco Chill vibe, the you know healthy people, healthy planet. Um, I call it Coco Love. There's mm -hmm. a Coco Love that goes into everything that we do. That's like you know what I love people and I love mother earth and I love um being being is my best and and giving more than I take and so it's about delivering that cocoa love and and just creating things that help people and mm -hmm. help planet and um you know so I I pride myself as being a, a eco inventor you know like creating things and solutions that are going to solve problems that are bigger than me not just for me yeah I started with the tap but you know it's gone beyond that we're you know zero waste certified we're the only zero waste certified company in Las Vegas actually right now and like just going above and beyond the call of duty so to speak mm -hmm. and not just thinking about ourselves or our company but thinking about everybody who we touch and everybody who we don't touch just everybody in the community and just and then you know, it ripples from there. It goes, it goes global. So I just, uh, the vibe and the morale, I always want people to, to grow mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and always have growth and challenge each other, challenge, challenge status quo. You know, some of our core, core values is, is, you know, environment, being a trailblazer, uh, you know, all this fun stuff that, we're getting involved with so we're all excited i mean i we're always innovating um we're actually building a robot a cocoa robot in our in in the lab we have it's called the tapomatic and it's coming out in the next you know with the next few months we're building our first prototype but we're going to be able to put this on every countertop jamba juice starbucks any local mom and pop restaurant grocery store gym wherever the machine will go on the counter you just put the raw coconut in hit the button it'll laser brand their logo on it it'll tap it with our coconut tap it'll take water out put supplements and flavors into it like this is going to change the whole game for coconut water the whole industry it's zero waste there's no plastics no packaging just partnering with mother nature 
Um, so yeah, like that's the kind of stuff we feel like, we feel like we're just kind of like the Tesla of coconut water and to be <laughs> involved with that kind of, you know, the zero waste beverage, it's exciting. Like nobody's doing this stuff. Everybody's in plastic bottles. Everybody's tired and yeah, they're, they're processing and packaging coconut water and it's like stale and dead and we can be alive. We can be in the fresh space, you know? So true. Now I want to switch things up a bit. So for those of you that aren't familiar with Coco Taps, they were actually on Shark Tank as well as CNBC's The Profit. So I always see people online, oh, I wish I could submit my story. You know, there's always like the hustle game. They want to go on, they want the fame, mm -hmm. they want everything. What can you say to other entrepreneurs? What is from each show, what was the biggest takeaway you got from that, from going on? So before knowing, you know, before going on to Shark Tank, <clears throat> everybody that saw me and saw what I was doing were like, you got to get on Shark Tank. So I downloaded the application, I filled mm -hmm. up the app, and you, you know, and I went and stood in line. They have these open auditions all over where you stand in these lines with thousands of people and you get one minute to pitch. So I did that. And they called me back. They were like, oh, we love it. Send us this 10 minute video answering all these questions, fill out this massive mound of paperwork, which is just God awful. Oh my I God, I can only imagine. I hate paperwork. <laughs> I'm sitting with a stack of paperwork for the SBA right you here. You guys, I'm looking at it. I can see it. <laughs> um, I'm done with it. Thank God. I just got to scan email and ship. But um, I just, I would say, don't expect anything quick. It took me a year and a half. And I went through that, that really long process of audition, paperwork, videos, send in samples, blah, 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 blah. Did all that. And then it, they ghosted me. So that process right there is a year and a half? It was over a year. And then I did it all over again. I, just, oh I, I still did an open audition in LA. When they ghosted, I was like shit so then i went and i there had another open audition for the next season in vegas so i stood in line again in vegas another audition another video another bound of paperwork i did it twice and and what what was just insane about the whole process is that they finally shook it loose but yeah it was almost two years so oh wow i didn't realize it was that long yeah and then <laughs> It, there's 50,000 applicants each season. So oh I beat, God. you know, I had to go through 100,000 applicants and I got on, right? That's amazing. So and basically the, we need to have patience and persevere. <laughs> Don't give up, which is what I always say. I mean, like I said, so I tell people patience, um, thick skin and a positive attitude. You got to hold those three tight. Mm. Uh, you can't let anybody get to you. You can't lose your cool cool heads you got to try and keep a cool head and that's hard for me because I'm I'm fiery I'm a fire sign I like to just you know I I'm explosive <laughs> sometimes so I just you got to really hone in and keep into your keep grounded and keep rooted grounded yeah so, that's hard sometimes too to do it's hard all the time <laughs> especially with the people that come at you you know it's like you it, I have a hard time like even even Marcus Limonis they were just trying to poke and prod me during that filming of that show and then they edited it all crazy you know the so another thing about those shows it's just tv less than one percent of every deal you ever see go on tv ever happens so most of those are all fake none of them close even the ones that they shake hands and hug and celebrate yay it's all they all fall apart in in diligence or in legal or they change the deal and it's just really crazy so none of that's really what it is it's tv oh my so, god i can't even imagine all the legal especially when more than one comes in oh god yeah so so that what's cool, gives me anxiety thinking of that paperwork so, <laughs> so to think about it like this i busted my ass i probably put in thousands of hours of work but i didn't have to write a check for a 15 million dollar commercial that's rerunning mm. all the time Mm -hmm. So I'm still rerunning my episode on Shark Tank is still rerunning on CNBC as well as The Profit was last season. So we've got that content. We've got that experience. 
and it pushed me. It pushed me to really get my get my shit together and get my get my purpose and get my passion and get my mission. And you know, when those cameras turn on, you got to be ready for action. It's hard. Yeah. And if you guys want to check out those episodes, they're actually on his LinkedIn. There's links there. So I'm going to put all those links in the show notes so that it's easy for you guys. You can just click it and catch up on those episodes. Now, besides the lab, what's going on in there? What do you have coming up that you would like to share? Um, wow. Well, we just opened up um, a full investor round of financing. Mm-hmm. Uh, we That's got what I wanted you to say. <laughs> we got our first lead investor. Uh, there's a, he's on the number nine on the Bitcoin, Bitcoin billionaire list. He's uh, investing uh, 300,000 into our million dollar financing round. Mm -hmm. And so we just, and then we raised another hundred thousand this week. So we've got about 600,000 left in this investor round. We're so excited about that. And that's, you know, our company's is going to scale massively with this Tapomatic machine Mm -hmm. and it's such a neat model. I mean, it's going to lower the cost of the coconuts fresh to the consumer. So we're going to start to really scale. I mean, we could see 10,000 of these machines in the market doing 10 coconuts a day. So we could be doing a hundred thousand coconuts a day coming up. That's crazy. You know, you have a great product and service and all of that, but what I actually really do appreciate, you know, it's great for, you know, the earth and all of that, but the coconut water itself for some coming from me, like as a, you know, professional patient and was so sick, it has so many benefits. So not only are you like saving the planet, but you're helping people live better lives. You're helping them get more hydrated. And um, just, I don't know, I just know specifically with chemo and autoimmune diseases, coconut water is so beneficial, like on a daily, everyday use. Yeah, it's, it's got so all, your ma- all your major electrolytes. Um, I call it God's Gatorade. It's fresh. It's so good. And yeah, that's, that's, uh, it's the truth. It's, it is the truth. I mean, it's the raw, fresh truth. Uh, coconuts are what actually got the Polynesians all around the world. They load the boats with coconuts and that's how, what they drink going all the, and not a lot of people know this, but the po- the Polynesians went around the world just using the stars, coconuts, um, before the Vikings or anybody else, they were, they were in these big ass handmade canoes with coconuts. So oh my God. they went all around the world. So, okay. yeah. Well, thank you so much for your time. I know you have to go and send all of that stack yeah, of paperwork. All this paperwork done. And where can everybody find you? I'm going to put all your links in the notes. If they're interested uh, in any investing yeah. information. If they want to catch us uh, on LinkedIn, is great. Just type in Coco Vinny at LinkedIn, also Coco Taps. Um, I'm real easy to find on social, Coco Taps for you, on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and then Coco Vinny, C O C O V I N N Y, is on Instagram and Twitter. Uh, love to find the right, you know, people that want to follow the Coco dream and the the sunshine and the coconuts. Okay, Vinny, thank you so much for your time. I will put all of those links in the notes and you guys make sure you check out their Instagram and LinkedIn. There is a lot of content over there. Thanks, Vinny. Thanks so much. Have a great one. See you soon. All right, bye-bye. Your time is so valuable and I really appreciate you carving out a little piece of your day to listen to today's episode. If you liked this one, please share it with someone who you feel needs to hear this message. And don't forget to tag me at The Happy Workaholic on Facebook and Instagram so I can feature you on my stories. Listening on Apple Podcasts? I would love it if you would leave me a review on today's show. Your input means so much and also helps me create more of the content you'll love. Want to continue today's conversation? You can join us in the Happy Workaholic Network Facebook group. Simply answer the questions and you're in. For more information on myself and to get the latest in business, LinkedIn, organizing, and podcasting news, sign up to receive my weekly newsletter at thehappyworkaholic.com. I hope that your day continues to be happy, healthy, positive, and productive, and I'll talk to you again soon.